I have gone on and put every single Premier League team into the championship, relegating them on purpose, and we're going to see how long it takes to get them all back into the Premier League. So you're going to see the Premier League consists of the championship teams, the championship consists of the Premier League teams, and the goal is to play as many seasons as we can until every 20 team that is currently in the Premier League here in 2021. We're going to see how long it takes for them all to get re-promoted. This was a video brought to you by someone in my live stream. They came up with this suggestion. If you guys want to see my streams facebook gaming link in the description we're live like four to five times a week i would say playing fifa and other games so check it out okay right i have to choose a team to start with just so we can track the progress of everything and which clubs are getting promoted after each season i'm going with liverpool because obviously they are the best club in career mode they should get promoted right away and then once they're promoted we can just you know sit back and watch the career mode play out and see how long it takes for every team to get promoted all right so into the career mode now here is something important to keep a note i'm just controlling liverpool I'm not going to be signing anyone from them. We're, we're based. This isn't focused on signings at all. It's it's just about how fast all of these clubs can get re-promoted. And this is important to note. So let's just use the Aston Villa, for example. Let's say they get promoted. And then let's say the next season, they get relegated. All you need to do is make it back up once. So as soon as you're back into the Premier League, you have been sort of just checked off the list. If you get relegated, it, it really doesn't matter. You've made it back up. But like in season number one, I'm probably probably expecting like Liverpool, Man City, and then the third team is probably going to be either like United, Spurs, maybe Chelsea, Arsenal, those three. So we're just going to check the three clubs get promoted every year, but you never know. Some teams could get promoted again from other leagues. Some teams could come up from League One and beat some of the Premier League teams. This could take a while, so we'll probably limit ourselves to like 10 seasons. If we can't do it in 10 seasons, then we just fail the challenge. And we will have this checklist along the way just so you guys can keep better track of who's going up who's going down which teams still need to be promoted and we can keep an eye on this throughout the entire episode let's just think about this three teams per season should take us oh wow this is this is actually gonna take a while i never really like did the math but if it works out perfectly it should take us seven seasons but I have a feeling we're going to get like it's it's actually going to be a struggle for some of the clubs like let's just say Fulham and Leeds and some of the smaller ones, man. West Brom, they they actually might not. Those are just going to be the most difficult ones to get re-promoted. All right, let's move through these first few seasons quickly because we're just probably going to be seeing the big clubs get re-promoted. So here we go. So my prediction for season one, you guys already know. Liverpool, I'm going to say Liverpool, Man City, and I'm going to say I'm going to say United. I'm going to say both teams for Manchester and then Liverpool. Who would the top three be? Spurs actually wins the league. And Leicester actually places higher than United. So the two teams gaining automatic promotion, Spurs and Liverpool, we can check those off. I mean, we knew Liverpool was going to be one, right? Spurs, yeah, maybe a bit of a surprise, but I guess not really. And the third team, it hasn't, the playoffs haven't been completed, but it, it actually might be Leicester. All right, now we should have it. Sim until the middle of June. I'm going to go. I'm still thinking it's probably going to be City. And it's Leicester. Leicester have actually been promoted in year one. That is crazy. All right, so in season number two, the Premier League obviously looking a bit different. We have our three promoted teams, and then yet again, the rest are teams that were in the championship. And I've decided each season, I'm actually just going to do this instead. We're going to switch manager roles to one of the teams that is still remaining in the championship. Or who knows, some of our clubs, we're wanting all of them to get promoted. To be honest, it, it's possible that some of them could actually get relegated. Let's, let's hope that doesn't happen, though. Yo, I'm just now realizing I forgot to look last season. I forgot to look at the clubs that actually did get relegated. I hope it wasn't one of the Premier League teams. It, it doesn't look like it, though. I, I think, yeah, here's English Football League 1. Yeah, we're good. None of them got relegated as, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. So I switched to City just because I think they're the next team to probably get promoted. So each each season, hopefully the team we control gets promoted and then we just sort of keep moving on. Season 2 should see, I'm going to go City, I'm going to go United, and I'm going to go Chelsea. Maybe, I feel like Wolves could be the sneaky one here. I feel like we can maybe see Wolves get called up. No, it's going to be United, City, Arsenal. Look at Newcastle. Why out of all clubs is Newcastle actually did incredible. I was, you know, to be honest, I would not be expecting that. Newcastle in fourth. Newcastle still could get promoted. What am I saying? Arsenal isn't for sure. The championship playoffs have gone to Arsenal. Okay, so all the main ones that we would expect to be up are back up. The only one that is a bit of a surprise, I would say, is maybe Chelsea out of 
probably would expect them to go up above Leicester and the relegated teams, Sunderland, Lincoln, and Coventry. So all of our Premier League teams still in the championship alive and well. Also, just a heads up, uh, like I, I, to be honest, don't care about these competitions. Like, I mean, the playoffs I do, but like the FA Cup, where are they at? FA Cup and Carabao Cup, I just... I'm not going to be showing in the Champions League too, because like, yeah, I'll, I'll be, I'll show you one season now, but they're just like not relevant for what we're doing in this episode. We will be heading to Chelsea for season three, six teams re-promoted. We have a total of 14 left. We're still on pace to potentially do this in seven seasons. That's it. If everything works out perfectly and the Chelsea team, obviously they were able to like sign players as well, but have they have they really signed anyone like worth noting here? It doesn't really look like it. I'm not signing one for them, but I will add some formation changes in here. Like I, I just feel like they should probably play with the central attacking midfielder and like Conte. Can they really, they can't really play with the CDM too. Can they? God, they have like just a broad group of positions. They like, it's hard to find a position that fits wingers, a CDM and a cam central midfielder you just can't do it all right championship predictions for this season obviously chelsea because they are the best team remaining i personally believe i guess maybe newcastle and then like wolves maybe let's see if i'm right here in to season number three villa has been promoted i was not expecting that one aston villa out of every club back into the prem that is absolutely wild. And then we have Everton, West Ham, Newcastle, Watford, who are going to be vying for that playoff spot. And it has gone to Everton. Who would have freaking thought? Aston Villa getting promoted. So who are going to be the toughest team? So again, no one got relegated. Fulham, Palace, and Sheffield are the three worst this season. They hopefully are going to start signing players or sooner. It's going to be impossible for them. Like, this could take 10, 15. Like, it's going to take a while for them if they don't step things up soon. I guess this season we go to Newcastle because they were seemingly the next club up to get promoted. At least, like, that's the way it looked. Here's what their starting 11s looking like. And for whatever reason, they these clubs like to keep their higher higher rated players on the bench. In this case, not really, though. They got a few like regen players, youth academy players. I really hope this team has what it takes to get promoted because it doesn't look that good. 11 teams left and all of the bigger clubs have been promoted. So now could be a struggle. This is where we... we we just need to keep getting three every season. I really hope this season, like, we don't get Newcastle, Crystal Palace, and, like, somehow Barnsley gets promoted. That is going to be worst-case scenario when those championship teams start to get promoted again as well. Will we continue this trend of three teams every year? We will. Wolves, Newcastle confirmed to win. So, Newcastle, they've been in the race for the past few seasons. They're finally up as we control them. But the other team is in contention. West Ham, Fulham, Leeds, Southampton. Is this going to be as easy as I would thought? Are there any other championship teams who look like they could potentially butt in? So Preston actually finishes above Burnley. Watford finishes above West Brom. Those might be the two clubs that struggled to get up. West Brom and Burnley. And the playoff winner for this season is Leeds United. So those three clubs will be moving up. <laughs> Eight teams left at a minimum. We have three seasons remaining remaining since Southampton did fairly decent last year. They missed promotion. We'll control them next. And they look okay. It's basically just a full team full of 70 rated players. Eight teams left. Let's I really hope we're gonna we're flying through this year, boys. I really hope we can do this in three seasons. We're doing this quick. Here we go. Southampton should be up and who else? Full of maybe West Brom wins it. Wait. I'm so confused with how these league tables are working because just last season, West Brom was the worst of all the Premier League teams and somehow they've gained automatic promotion by winning the championship. This league is so random. Oh my God. Okay. And it is West Ham. So West Ham move up along with Southampton and West Brom United. Fulham remains the worst team. They can't really crack their way into that top six. I didn't think we'd be able to do a perfect run. I don't think we'll be able to do this in seven seasons, but you never know. Maybe we will. Maybe it's just all the Premier League teams just get re-promoted. Five teams left, though. So at this rate, there are not many clubs left. Let's take a look. I decided to go for Sheffield this year, who finished in third, right? Yeah, they were close. They just missed out in the playoffs. So the only teams remaining, 
we have Sheffield being one. We have Fulham. We have Palace. We have Burnley and we have Brighton. Those are the five teams remaining that need to get promoted. Not the greatest end to the season for Sheffield here. Two draws, a win, some shaky results along the way. I actually need to send to like the 15th so we can get past the playoffs. Oh, why do I feel like uh, a championship team, a non-Premier League team is about to get promoted? Let's see it. It is Sheffield and Brighton, but look at Bristol. Bristol could ruin this for us. Stoke 2. Where is Fulham? Fulham Palace. Oh, man. They're literally going to ruin this for us. Okay. So, at least we have Sheffield and Brighton, which means three teams remaining. And those three teams are Fulham, Crystal Palace, and Burn. Look how far back Burnley is. I actually think it might be impossible for Burnley to get re-promoted for doing that bad. Yeah, Derby County is the first non-Premier League team to get themselves promoted. Oh, this is... This has potential to be a brutal ending and takes so long. Before we transfer to our new club, which I think is going to be Crystal Palace, let's let's just see what the Premier League looks like at this point. We haven't checked in on it in a while. So we have three teams that need to be promoted. So the three teams that are non-Premier League clubs in the Premier League, Derby, Brentford, and Blackburn, but also Bournemouth. I'm not missing any teams, am I? We still only have, it's still only three left, right? Or is it four? No, it should be three. Oh, okay. So uh, uh, here's what's happened. I got a bit confused for a second. So it looks like a few teams got relegated again, which is why we have five championship teams still in the Premier League. So like I said, they can get relegated again. It doesn't matter. That just makes it harder for the teams though that still need to be promoted. Palace, Palace, Palace. This is a point where I wish... I could sign players, but we haven't done it all the way through. This is an experiment. I am not going to be, I'm in charge of them, but I'm not in charge of their signings. And this is what their team looks like. Yeah. No wonder they can't get promoted. Literally one player on, th th like their team's just disappearing. I think their problem is they're not signing players. They just have like their original team with some regen players and that's it. Wait, let's actually, who, which Premier League team's got relegated again so villa got relegated again let's see i don't want to miss one here villa we also have southampton i got relegated again west brom got relegated again okay that that makes sense we just got to get fulham crystal palace and burnley the last three teams let's we need a good seventh season here. I mean, if that all goes well, we could get it done right here, right now. The random thought while I'm simulating, go, how do you guys, how are you guys feeling about the beard? Do I, should I keep growing this? I already got the hair growing out. You got the man bun back there. Do we, do we keep the beard flowing? Is that, is, is this is too much? For the first time it's happened. The team that we control didn't get promoted. Losing to Stoke in the playoff final in Villa in Watford up. It this might not happen crystal palace fulham and burnley are gonna ruin this for us man we got so close we got so freaking close where is burnley in 11th fulham in 13th we'll probably give it like two more seasons and yeah this might not be possible these three clubs are just so bad Wait, this is so weird this is what this is season eight i believe last season was the first season ever where no teams got promoted so we could have finished last season if all three of our teams did, but we are we're we're kind of just stuck now in Burnley, Fulham, and the club that we are controlling here, Crystal Palace, just are not good. And I'm not allowed to sign anyone. So here is the squad we're kind of just stuck with at the moment. And if they don't start to perform, then we just fail this challenge, I guess. Not this, man. Not the playoffs. Don't do me like this. Oh no. We're gonna get to see how this goes. Oh no, it's an L. We just lost. Oh my God, Palace. You lose to Barnsley, man. Did anyone else get relegated or promoted, excuse me? Brighton and West Ham go back through, but our clubs just can't do it. Palace in third, we keep getting close, man. And then our other clubs, Fulham 13th, Burnley 16th. They're just getting worse at this point. This is it. One more season I'm going to give to Crystal Palace, to Fulham, and to Burnley. And if they don't get back up to the Prem, they are being crowned as the worst Premier League clubs in FIFA 21. I don't care what anyone says, they're being crowned the worst. And it's actually sad to say for Burnley and for Palace because in real life, both teams are not in relegation zone. But in FIFA, 
So far, they're just terrible. All right, the final season, and I don't see playoffs anywhere, which either means we won the league outright, or we got second place, or we didn't even make the playoffs. Come on, Palace. If Fulham and Burnley don't make it, at least let me see you there. And they've won it. Let's go. Congratulations, Palace. But Fulham and Burnley, nowhere to be found. We are crowning them the worst two clubs in FIFA 21 out of all Premier League clubs. Terrible, terrible, terrible. We could give them another season, but it probably just would not do anything. This is how we end. And to end it, this is what the Premier League looks like. Like I mentioned, a few of the teams got relegated again. But here we go. Arsenal, Aston Villa, Blackburn, Brentford, Chelsea, Crystal Palace, Everton, Leeds, Leicester, Liverpool, Man City, Man United, Newcastle, Norwich, Nottingham Forest, Preston, Spurs, West Brom, West Ham, and Wolves. Hope you guys really enjoyed watching this one. Super fun one to bring to you guys. And uh, let me know what challenge we should do next. With that, we'll catch you guys later. Peace. Calling for